What is going on guys? I was uh, messing with my Switch a little bit tonight and I noticed that the rental app was now available for Android. So I went and downloaded it and it looks like everything works just fine. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see kind of what these settings uh, settings do, the registration process, and uh, see what options it gives us. Right now we've got the Android on the left and I have my Switch on the right. So we will go ahead and hit next on the Android phone. It gives us a registration code, and then gives us instructions on turning the switch on, going to the button, selecting Swiss system settings, parental controls, parental control settings, which is where we're at right now. And then select use your smart device. So we'll go ahead and choose use your smart device. We'll say yes, we have the parental controls app. And we will enter our six digit registration code. The registration code is at the top of the Android phone here, or we can scroll up to the top. It gives us the registration code there as well. So we'll go ahead and enter that plus button. Hit OK. It now shows my Nintendo ID along with the registration code. It says parental controls will be set using this Nintendo account. Would you like to register the Nintendo Switch parental controls app? See that on the Android phone as well. So hit register. And we see successfully registered Nintendo Switch. And it also pops up on the left. Successfully registered Switch 2. Now I'm showing Switch 2 because I've already registered this Switch once before. And I removed it. Um, I was just going through checking all the settings so that we didn't mess anything. So from now we can go ahead and hit OK. And it takes us back to the system settings menu. Let's go ahead and set our Joy-Cons down and we'll pick up our Android phone. We're going to click set parental controls. And here is where we can set our daily limit time. So let's go ahead and go for half an hour. I don't know how much gaming you can get done in half an hour. But let's go ahead and hit next. We can set a restriction level. We'll just leave that for none. And we'll hit complete. Now on the switch, you did notice it says settings have been changed. So it automatically synced all of our parental control settings directly to the switch. Setup complete, we can hit continue. Now from this screen, this gives us pretty much all of the information that we're looking uh, We can see time played. So this would show any games that have been played on the switch and the total amount of time that they've been played. We can see a monthly summary. This would show us all of the previous month's play activity. And then we have console settings. Now this section, even though we've already set these, if you go into these individual sections, it actually gives you a little bit more information than what you had before. So we can hit set play time limit and we can set days individually, setting each day individually. Say we wanna give Saturday uh, an hour and a half time. And we can see that reflected on the screen here. Now. We can also set it to suspend the software if they go over their playtime limit. So we can turn that on if we want, but let's go ahead and we can set restriction level based on ESRB ratings. I assume these do change depending on which region your switch is registered in. And then we have more options down here once we choose a restriction level. So teen, preteen, child, custom settings and then that will let us change each of these individual hit the check mark to save that but we'll just back out and then we have a pin so we're going to click on that pin go ahead and write this pin down even if you're just testing the app go ahead and write it down I'm going to show you why here in a few minutes but I'm going to write mine down right now so we have two four three five three nine and this pin was set by the app when we registered it to the Nintendo Switch. So you want to write that down because you're going to need it in a few minutes if you decide to remove the app from the Switch. So go ahead and back out. Now from here we can add another Switch by clicking on the two squares with the plus sign in the top right. We can add another Switch and we can see the Switch that is currently registered. We can click the I next to the Switch that is registered. We can change the name see the date it was registered, and also see its serial number. Well, you can't see the serial. 
So we'll go ahead and click the gear and we can see the account. We can add a switch console from here. We get notification settings, which will enable this option to receive push notifications, which will include a summary of play activity once a month. So we can toggle that on or off. And the rest of it is just legal stuff. We have the support website, feedback, user agreement, privacy policy, intellectual property notes, and the version number. We also have an option to log out as well. So from here, that is basically everything with the app. We can go back to Tanner Time Play, just to leave it on that screen. I'm going to actually go back into the pin and just double check that I wrote this pin down correctly. Okay. So now, and unregister the app. So we can go down to unregister. You also have the option to sync with the parental controls app, but from what I've seen, it seems like it happens pretty quick. You notice when we registered it, it popped up in the top left-hand corner, letting us know pretty quickly. We'll go ahead and unregister the app. And it's we're going to require the pin that is inside the app for us to remove it. So we'll enter pin of two, four, three, five, three, nine. Okay. And we will unregister the app. Now it's telling us that we've unregistered the app from the Nintendo Switch. Your restriction settings are still active on the console. The pin that you will need to reset or change these settings is written in the email that was sent to the app that was sent to you when the app was unregistered from the console. So if you didn't write it down, it looks like they will send you an email with the pin number that is, uh, that is currently on the Switch. Okay. And you can see we get an error on the app now. If it close, it takes us back to the main screen to re-register the console. Now, if you forgot to write down the pin, or you don't have access to the email where they sent the pin, what you have to do is hit this button here. It asks that you contact their support and give them the inquiry number. They'll give you a master key to unlock the system, and then you'll be in. But to kind of get through all that headache, we'll make sure that we write down that pin. We can go to the pin here, two, four, three, nine. And then we are into the parental controls. From here, we can hit X if we want to remove all parental controls. And this will reset all controls. Complete. So that is it. You now see that all the parental controls are removed and we are ready to register again if we felt like doing so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, drop me a like, comment below, or subscribe, and let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks, and we'll catch you guys next time.